Hi all, this is Madhumita from Informatica Global Customer Support. I am going to explain you about the utility to determine the Oracle Redo log rate by Power Exchange Capture process. Let's get started. This is the agenda of this video. I'll explain you the overview of this utility, package to be installed, few configuration steps and I'll take you to a live demo where I will explain how to run this utility and few recommendations for running this utility. Let's dive deeper. So this utility is mainly intended in determining the maximum read rate of Oracle Redo Logs. This is a standalone utility and Power Exchange installation is not required to run this utility. Prerequisites before running this utility includes we need to add the install directory to the shared library path. For ASM and B file access, the Oracle client must also be in shared library path. Environment variable should be set like Oracle Home, Oracle Home Bin to Path, Oracle Home Lib to LD Library Path. And TNS Admin must be set if it is not present in default location. TNS dot names should contain DB entries for source database. Here is the example screenshot I have attached. Steps to run this utility include we need to create a folder and transfer the zip file to it. And we need to add the above folder path to the LD library path. And make sure you give all the read write execute permissions to this folder. Next we need to create a text file uh, named orparms.txt which includes the access types which you are going to use here. It can be direct ASM or ASM staging or B file access or on file system. Next, we need to identify the Oracle archive log to which you need to run this utility. So this is the command for running this utility. Utility name and the file which you have created and the Oracle uh, archive log which you are trying to run this utility and involves the uh, number of rounds to repeat. Now I'll take you to a live demo where I will show how to run this utility. So now I am in the installation folder. Here you will find all these files. So this is the file which I have created which includes all the access types. So if you are using ASM staging we need to include all these parameters and database and database details as well. Once I have included so I am going to give the following command in order to run this utility. Utility name and the file which we have created just now and the uh, oracle archive log followed by the number of rounds it should repeat. So as soon as I run that utility this was the following output which I have got. This will determine the uh, archive log redo rate. So few recommendations are install and run the utility on database machine to establish the baseline before attempting remote access. This allows a potential read rate that can be achieved to be accessed without network overhead. If the database machine is source constrained, it is possible that reading remotely can achieve faster read rate though it is rare. Schedule the utility to run repeatedly throughout a normal workday to access the impact of deferring roads on the database and local machine. So for more reference you can refer the below KB article. We would like to hear from you. You can drop us your queries on support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us in our Twitter account. Thank you.